Hello there. Uh, I thought I'd share a second shave with you this week. Still using Sterling's Ben Franklin. Uh, a week or two ago, I picked up three razors at six bucks and some change a piece. Uh, one was, two of them were techs, and one was a shit Cronin. The first tech, the one in the best shape, was a uh, 57 ball in tech. But I also picked up a 51 bake light or plastic black handled tech. Uh, as you can see, the head is rough, the little diamond Gillette logo on the top is pretty much gone. I, it went with the corrosion and stuff that was, or whatever it was, it was some kind of really bad residue on top of this razor and the only way that it would come off was with some uh, 400 grit sandpaper. So, I mean, the logo went, and you can see there's some a vast virus database has been updated. You can see my virus database just got updated. I hate that thing when it does that. But anyway, got to live with it. I need my virus protection. But anyway, you can see the, the little imperfections there on the head, the little plating loss, pock marks, pitting, whatever you want to call that. You know, I, I wonder what these heads are made of. I know that many of people... I mean, a thread on here said on the forums say that a lot of these are aluminum, uh, but I'm wondering if it could be Zamac or some type of uh, similar material. Anyway, that's just a you know my head going. Hey, I wonder what those black spots are. You know. Anyway, we're going to try this. I, I know that the techs are. Uh, I'm going to use my Smoke 1438 four brush, and I'm going to start lathering while I talk. I know that the techs are pretty much considered mild, but I know that there are different years of techs, and, and the pre-war techs, which I think is like the 30s, are supposed to be the most aggressive, and then the the 50, 56 or so, whatever it is, or 54 or something like that, they were supposed to have gotten milder. And now, trust me, I'm not a database for the tech razor. This is just little stuff that I've read, the little bit that I've read about it online. But, uh, so I just, I kind of wondered what the difference in the shave would be. My 57 is mild. Uh, I'm wondering about this razor. I know that the difference in the handle will probably make a difference in the shave. I don't know if that will be the only factor though. But I mean the handle is lighter and the head is heavier. It's more heavy headed or more head heavy uh, with the fake light or plastic candle there so just wondering if there's going to be any difference now like I say it's not pretty but that doesn't mean it won't shave well uh, So let's see, let's just see what this does and how I like it or whether I notice any difference at my face, whether or not I notice any difference and the uh, Ben Franklin is all the different spices are kind of merging together now and I'm beginning to get a, a kind of a feel for the actual scent of this soap now. 
wonderful lather. Takes a little bit of nothing to whip up, pretty much like all the sterling that I have used so far. This is, I think, the eighth one. Just a wonderful lather. Clean the soap off my hands because it's it's gonna be slicker than owl snot. So we wet my razor and heat it up. And let's see. All right, immediately I kind of feel like that there is a difference between this 51 head and the 57 that I got. Now, I, like I said, I'm not a I'm not an expert on text, but this this head at least to me feels more aggressive. I don't know that I would say that it is a lot more aggressive. And it may just be that the weight difference, the head being more heavy. That might be accounting for that because usually with a DE razor, I try not to add any kind of pressure. So if I have a, a razor that is more balanced, either toward the handle or just basically a neutral type balance, certainly it's going to shave differently because the head a uh, heavy headed razor will I think give me more pressure on the head or on the face shaving with letting the head of the razor the weight of the head of the razor determine the That be the only thing that determines how hard the razor press is down. So it would be, in my opinion, a more heavy headed razor would shave a bit more aggressively. on uh, all other things being equal. And, uh, but this razor, there's more of a difference. I don't know if you can hear it, but this razor talks. Hear that? The other tech doesn't do that quite as much if I recall correctly. So at least in my opinion, there is a difference in these two heads.
nice and slick. Still a fairly mild razor, uh, fairly mild shape. I don't feel any difference in the results of the shave after two passes. That feels about like feels about like my other tech, my 57. As far as the results of the shave go after the second pass. So, it may be down to perception and nothing really else to it but that. But, I can say that I like shaving with this razor and I think I like it better than the 57. Maybe I need to start looking out for one of the aluminum handle techs. this part of my face or my neck, chin, whatever you want, underneath my chin or whatever you want to call it. It, uh, mm, good deal. Uh, that part of my neck there, it needs, uh, a bit of extra attention usually. get smooth. Let's look at the shave and see what I need to do touch up wise. I think I'm going to need, I'm going to try touching up a couple of spots that I normally have trouble with. Now, that's wonderfully smooth. Across the grain, this is across the grain for me. Against the grain, I can feel until I get up here. Then I'm baby butt smooth. I guess you'd call that. I don't. I try not to use those acronyms, so I need to stop. Uh, they don't really mean anything to me when someone else says them, because I don't know what they're calling baby butt smooth or or uh, uh, darn fine shave. I don't know what they're calling that. So, and you don't know what I'm calling that. So, but wonderful. The chin is a little prickly, which is surprising. My other, my 57 actually doesn't do that. But what I'm going to try to do is, uh, touch up part of that chin and all. I don't know how I would do this with a straight. I don't think I would try, but I'm going to try. No, no. I go like this with my against the grain patch because this is against the grain on my face. What I'm going to try to get in here and see if I can get a little better is I'm 
try that. And see, just see if that makes any difference or not. I have never but a couple of times gotten those areas of my neck completely smooth uh, and so chin is wonderfully smooth and no made absolutely no difference at all it just seems like I can never get against the grain smooth I can get across the grain and with the grain you can't even feel any of the whiskers but across the grain or against the grain rather it's still there and that's just my face uh, the only thing that gets that any smoother is a straight razor and even the straight razor doesn't completely smooth that up that's just the way my hair grows there uh, I find if I fight it too much I end up with irritation and I may have pushed it too far I don't know let's see what my uh, alcohol splash says and let's see I'm gonna use I'm gonna use some uh, aqua velvet ice blue it's a good barbershop scent, so it'll go with pretty much anything, in my opinion. And I want that little extra menthol in case I did get some irritation. So, yeah, a bit of irritation there. But actually, I get some irritation along here anyway. But I think it's just a bit more. But now I used a 7 o'clock yellow. This is my third use of the blade. Uh, so the blade felt like it was smooth, but I think I'm going to bend it after three. Anyway, that's the shave. Uh, I do think that razor feels different, whether it's the handle or the head. I don't know, but I like the way that it feels. Uh, before I go, I'd like to say something, you know, uh, I saw on the news that Joan Rivers passed away today. I didn't know her or anything about her personally, but what I do know is that she was a consummate entertainer, an incredibly gifted entertainer, uh, a really funny woman, and a very unique personality. And uh, I think the more unique people we have in this world, the better off this world is. So uh, I was sorry to hear that uh, she had passed. And, you know, my prayers are with her family uh, and her friends. And uh, just wanted to say that. I mean, uh, there's a lot of, of people, you know, that have been in the business for a long time. They, Robin Williams just passed not long ago a very talented guy a very funny guy very uh, great uh, personality but also from all accounts just a wonderful person you know and uh, the world is just a little bit less when someone like that passes so anyway god bless you and i'll see you on all the flora and fauna of wet shaving Later.